This is a video capturing a pony's third day ever with clicker training. In just seven short minutes, all of which you'll see here, Whiskey offers five completely distinct behaviors. The behaviors include nodding yes, shaking her head no, smiling or rolling her lip up, counting by pawing, and holding a leg out in the beginnings of a Spanish walk. These behaviors occur with no stimulus. Whiskey just offers them because she's interested in seeing what she can do to earn a treat. The first behavior that Whiskey offers is nodding. She shakes her head up and down. This behavior first became apparent when we fed Whiskey a licorice flavored treat. The smell excited her and prompted her to bob her head. This is the first time that we've ever seen Whiskey nod her head but we're already shaping it into a very nice nod. Initially, we click every time Whiskey nods her head at all. Suddenly, Whiskey offers, shaking her head, no. We click this as well. We may want it later. Whiskey then goes back to offering nodding. I hold off on clicking these small nods because they're not very impressive and I also want to see if she'll shake her head again. I wait patiently and sure enough, we get a full body shake. Whiskey is a Section A, Section B Welsh Pony Cross. Section A Welshes tend to be very good about offering behaviors. It also helps that it was snowing earlier in the day, and Whiskey is a little damp, so she wants to shake off. Whiskey now gets a little bit distracted and spends some time sniffing my dog. I'm okay with this, because yesterday she was very scared of Toby. This is a big improvement. Clicker training is helping Whiskey rapidly expand her horizons in all directions at once. In Whiskey's last nod, I thought I had seen just a hint of a lip roll, and here it is again. A lip roll looks like a fun, toothy grin. Whiskey goes back to nodding, and I click the nodding again, hoping that I'll get another grin out of a nod. I'm using a high rate of reinforcement to keep her interested and to keep the behaviors flowing. After I've put these behaviors on cue, Whiskey will only earn a treat if she does the correct behavior following a cue. At this stage though, a high rate of reinforcement is very encouraging to Whiskey and empowers her to be creative. Because Whiskey has now gone back to nodding reliably, I start putting a hand signal in front of the nod to see if she'll begin to associate the signal as a cue. Sure enough, immediately after I cross my arms on my chest, Whiskey nods. If I consistently give this signal in front of the nodding behavior, she'll begin to read the signal as an invitation to perform nodding. To my surprise, however, Whiskey returns to shaking her head. I click this behavior because I want to keep it, and begin working on putting a cue in front of it as well. Since it seems like Whiskey will perform the behavior at least twice in a row, I know that I can get at least one hand signal in for her to associate with the shaking the head behavior. I use shaking my finger as a signal for her to shake her head. Because Whiskey is still in the process of inventing new behaviors, it's difficult to assign cues to them at this point. The best thing I can do is just click everything to keep the behaviors coming. Whiskey gets more and more enthusiastic with her head shaking. Just there you see me withhold the click one time because her head shake wasn't quite precise enough. I was looking for more twist in the shake of the head, more animation. Whiskey reads the lack of the click correctly and offers a much more distinctive head shake. Just when I think that this is going to be the last exciting behavior of the day, Whiskey suddenly offers something completely new and unexpected. She lifts her leg like the beginnings of a Spanish walk. All that I did to elicit this exciting new behavior was to stand a little bit further back from Whiskey. Clearly ecstatic that lifting her leg earned her a click, Whiskey starts throwing out all kinds of behaviors. You can really see the imagination now. This time Whiskey holds out a right leg, 
previously it had been the left. Now she tries pawing with her right leg, striking the ground. Last time she had only held it out steadily in the air. Look, a bow. I can't believe everything that Whiskey has come up with in this last couple of seconds. Whiskey gives us another full body shake, only the second one of the day, and then offers another fantastic smile. When Whiskey offers, holding her leg out again, I can't resist the temptation to try to put it on cue. It's such an adorable behavior. The best part about this training session is that it's Christmas Eve, and Whiskey will be delivered as a Christmas pony tomorrow morning to one very lucky eight-year-old girl. I find myself hoping that if I can get Whiskey to shake hands, then maybe she can shake hands tomorrow morning with her new best friend. When I stand close to Whiskey and offer my hand for her to shake, she won't lift her leg. It's too intimidating, so I back away and hold the hand out at a more comfortable distance. Whiskey then is able to lift her foot and earn a click and a treat. Even though she's offering and shaking her head, I'm convinced at this point that I'll be able to get that behavior again, seeing as how she likes it so much. So I withhold clicking on shaking the head and hold out for a really nice leg lift. Of course I get one and hurriedly click it. It looks like Whiskey is beginning to build some association between me holding my arm out and her getting clicked for lifting her leg. She's a very smart pony. I'm almost out of treats, so for our grand finale, I stand up close to Whiskey so that I can reach out for her leg should she happen to lift it. I'm hoping that she'll overcome her little bit of timidity and offer the leg lift again. Though she's temporarily distracted by the closeness of the grain, she does in fact offer her leg and we get one short shake. Not bad for only the third clicker training session with whiskey ever.